So here they are. They are finally here. I finally have the AP Racing Pro 5000 Rs. I am so excited about these. wanted to get the AP Racing brake kits for a while. I've been seeing them at, on race cars when I go to IMSA weekends or when I go to SRO weekends and you know you see the cars on whether it's on AP Racing, Alcons or Brembo's. There's a lot of great systems out there and there's something about like the race calipers like they're just like built super tough, built to handle hours of hours of racing and they just do not like they almost do not fail. They're designed in a way where they're just like overbuilt. And I've always wanted to get it, but it was just way too expensive. Well, nothing has changed. And over time, it has gotten more and more and more expensive as you know, prices of everything has gone up. So I've been saving for years now. And last year with my Velociran, I was running the Willwood Aero 6 caliper with the Willwood rotors and everything. And that system has been rock solid. It's still on my car and driving it on the street with it. I was gonna run the whole season with it. I was gonna rebuild the caliper and just kind of send it. Also, after talking to Jeffrica from Gen Racer, he kind of convinced me to get these. And in the end, I just really wanted to get it. But I just kind of felt bad to spend the money. These are not cheap. And uh, last year, I won the season with my Velociren in uh, the Tuner 3 Championship locally. Got second place in grid life, so I got some good achievements. So now that with the Elantra N, I really want to build like a bulletproof car as far as like performance. I don't have to worry about brakes, I don't have to worry about cooling. Just drive. Just kind of focus on setup and just drive. So these are perfect for that. So what's in this kit? All right, let's unbox it. So here we have our rotors. These are the gyro discs. The rotors are 368 by 36 millimeters. Uh, here we go. Get them out of this. Move the box. So gyro disc usually includes well, instruction here and then further instructions on how to bed them in, how to install them, some best practices, some safety stuff. And yeah, definitely read them. And then terms and conditions of sale. Of course, these rotors are not for street use. So, so we can see this, these rotors are just built like a tank. Here are the rotors. If you look at this section, I don't know if you can see, it says Velociran. This one is originally made for the Veloster and TC card. And since the bolt pattern, everything is the same, you can kind of reuse it for the Elantra end. And yeah, that's the minimum thickness of 32 mil. It is a, it is an absolute unit. 36 mil, such a thick rotor, such well built. It kind of feels bad using them because they're just like beautiful. And on the inside, we can see the bobbins here, and here are the cap screws to hold them in. And yeah, these look awesome. So let's open the other one. There we go. Didn't need to cut anything, which is good. Both of the rotors out. And they're both looking awesome. And these are directional, so one of them is a left side, one of them is a right side. So this one is uh, left, this one is right. So, gotta make sure to install them on the right side because the vents on the inside are directional. So they, as they spin, uh, they pull the air from inside and fan them out. So now let's uh, unbox the calipers. So I've already opened this multiple times. As you know, people get impatient, I get impatient. So here's the caliper. If you're racing caliper, I still haven't removed this. I'm gonna remove it after I install it on the car. So it comes with a little thing to verify the authenticity. You can register it. And then has this little quick bridge with a little screw. So we have these two bridges here that hold the pads in. So you can remove these and put the quick disconnect 
uh, clip and the way it goes in it screws in here and then you put it in back in here that's for endurance racing mostly so they can pad swap quickly but for like when i'm changing pads every maybe four or five events i don't mind doing undoing these again i'm not going to be using those so i'm gonna put this here open the, the other one Go. Works, works just as awesome. So the AP Racing Pro 5000R. This is the CP9668. So this is the endurance racing caliber. Some, some touring cars use it. Obviously the Elantra and the Velocity and TC cars use these. They've been absolutely rock solid for them. And they're rock solid for a lot of kind of racers. And this is also a consumer product, so you can buy this if, you know, in the US, if SX Racing makes a kit for you. Sadly, for the Hyundai cars, they don't make them. It is legit, it's an absolute unit, super well built. So one thing, the pistons are vented for extra airflow. Between the pistons here, there's little holes they cut out as much as metal as possible to make it as light as possible. This provides also better airflow as well. Here you can see a lot more airflow, a lot more air for escape. When the rotor is rotating, it will push air even out of here, which is nice. The, the reason why this is the 9668 is it, it accepts a 25 mil pad. And the 9660, it's a, uh, I think a 17 mil pad or a 19 mil pad or 18 mil. So you get like a much thicker pad with this. The benefits are it's a longer lasting pad, and then it's also um, less heat transferred into the master, like to the, to the brake fluid. So a lot of positive to have, just to have a thicker pad. And it's not that much more expensive. Since Gen Racer builds these, or builds this kit, you don't have any options, so you get the 9668, which I prefer. I like this. Let's look over the bracket. So I already undid the bracket. There's a little ziplock that comes with the, with these studs here, so you can see, I can undo them because they're all hand tightened. So it comes with these like ARP studs. Um, comes with a little, a little washer, a little jet jet nut, and yeah, you just kind of screw it in there, and then you get a a little Allen key and tighten it. Usually, hand tightening it is good. Don't want to overdo it. Uh, you can use Loctite, but apparently Loctite doesn't do well with high heat. So, yeah, and then these bolt to the uh, to the hub. Uh, I don't know the exact direction. It might bolt like this to the hub, and the bolts are here, and the caliper bolts into these. And with the kit, into spec brake lines. These are into spec is a I think like company by generator, <coughs> and. Um, they make their own brake lines. And yeah, I used to have these on my Veloster and never had issues. Pretty good, pretty good quality. And these work just fine with the AP Racing Kit. So finally, we have the, uh, the Paget RST1s. These are the RST1 compound. That's the, the name of the compound. And these are also absolute units, gigantic pads, super thick. And I can overlay a picture of how it looks compared to the stock Veloster N and then the Willwood pads. And they are just a ton of meat, a lot of surface. So I'm looking forward to having much longer pad intervals. And hopefully by having a thicker pad, the pad itself will last longer. So that's how it looks like. And uh, the rotor kind of just barely fits in there. It is, uh, it is not much room, but it is tight. There you go. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. It's amazing. Pads are ready to go. Hands are dirty. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the unboxing of the AP Racing brake kit for the Veloster N and Elantra N. If you want to get this set up, like I said earlier, reach out to Gen Racer. I'm going to be doing another video of me installing this. So if you're interested on how the process goes, let me know. If you have any questions about it or if you want to include something in it again just leave a comment it's going to be a pretty easy install i've, I've done i've installed brake kits big brake kits on 
Hyundai cars for when it's gonna be my third time. So should should be pretty easy to do. I'm gonna have my buddy with me. He's gonna do it on Monday. So it's gonna be in a few days. So yeah, thank you for watching. Again, I'm super excited about these. And yeah, can't wait to post the pictures of the car with these brakes on, with the wheel and everything, my wheel setup. So yeah, thank you for watching.